Uh, good day all, welcome to the Automotive channel. Today we are in a 2020 Generation 4 Mazda 3 G25 Evolve. The car I'm driving is in hatchback form, has got a 6 speed automatic mated to a 2.5 litre naturally aspirated Skyactiv G engine. If the newer BMW inspired model numbering is too confusing, it's basically an upmarket ish version of the previous Gen 3. SP25. This is the same engine found in the previous Gen 3 Master 3 available in Australia. However, it's now got cylinder deactivation as well as a change of the rear suspension setup from multi link to a torsion beam style. While a rear torsion beam is generally thought of a simpler and inferior design, I don't believe this is an issue for normal or even enthusiastic driving styles. It's not like this Mazda 3 is targeted at drivers that will spend time at track days, generating extreme g-forces. The suspension and handling in this hatchback is rather firm and planted, which is great, but the car needs more power. The conventional automatic torque converter style gearbox handles shifting just like the previous Gen 3. Great when on flat surfaces with a little bit of hesitation when faced with uphill sections. But the addition of paddle shifting and a sports mode are useful features to have. Interior cabin noise is vastly improved. Check out this back to back video of my Generation 3 SP25 GT. SP23. Interior styling has also been upgraded to feel more premium. While this G25 Evolve misses out on leather seats, it does get some leather-like squishy inserts and a nice firm steering wheel. All the buttons, knobs and doodads also feel very nice to touch and the new infotainment system while a little bit different to the previous MZD, it's very simple and intuitive to use. The heads up display is also now directly projected onto the windscreen, and along with its digital cluster, makes this feel rather high tech and futuristic. Personally, while this looks really good, I'm a bit of a pessimist with a view of the more electronics equals the more things to fail over time. The exterior styling is, however, something I can't quite decide on. Its curves look rather sexy, and the car looks great when viewed at some angles, but in my opinion can also look hideous and dented at others. The biggest and obvious put off, for me anyways, is this chunky rear C-pillar. It's not very good for your blind spot at all, and it's something you kind of have to get used to, or overly rely on the electronic safety monitoring system. As a habit, this is something I personally try not to rely on, especially since I'm constantly driving different vehicles daily. The boot space is quite deep and low, but it's not as roomy as the sedan or previous versions of the hatch. It's really a shame they don't offer this model in a wagon format. I even took the liberty to address that C-pillar and redesign what I thought would be the perfect model to introduce to Mazda's overly heavy SUV lineup. You could call it the Mazda 3 Plus. I even kept their Soul of Komodo design language. All in all, this is a very nice car that's very easy to drive and handles well. The features and premium push are definitely reflected in the price increases and I doubt you will see as many of these on the road as the previous generations. If it's purely exterior styling that is the deciding factor, the G20 Evolve and G20 Touring fitted with the 2 litre engine pretty much looks identical. The Touring does have leather seats and some other features. The G25 does have the more potent 2.5 litre engine though, and in the Evolve trim, it's a fairly nice place to be in. Upgrading to the GT and the Stina really just gets you some extra comfort features. You know, if you really need your bums and hands warmed up via heated leather seats and steering wheels, an overpriced Bose sound system, sunroofs, and more driver assisted technology. Basically things that a premium buyer would tick off all on the boxes. 
But for me, personally, if I was shopping for a Generation 4, the G25 Evolve would be the sweet spot in the range. Thanks for watching, see you next time.